Greetings. Purpose of this video is to show you a property that all cameras have in the lens. Be they video or still cameras, they're all going to work the same way. Now first I'm going to demonstrate the effect of zooming on perspective. And first let's focus nearby. So now I'm going to zoom from 24 to 70. And pay attention to the ruler marks. And let's move the focus out further. And notice how foreshortening kicks in. Also, that's the important part. And the depth of field is reduced. Okay, I'm focused in as far as I can get. Now I'm going to pull out again. Now this time I'm going to change the f-stop. I'm at f4 right now and that gives me my narrowest depth of field or shallowest depth of field I guess I should say. So let's change that and watch what happens to the depth of field as I pull down, that is, close down the aperture. It's called stopping down. And ISO Auto is trying to uh, keep things <laughs> but it's out of its range now. Let me manually adjust ISO. It's a lot higher than the camera normally wants to go. <laughs> okay, now watch what happens when I zoom in. And I'm gonna move the focus up out or at least I'm trying to there we go and now I'm zoomed out to 70 millimeters And if I pull this focus back in, or rather, no, I'm going to open the lens up again to get more light in. So let's go from f22, 16, and don't want to overexpose too much. Let's go down to ISO auto again. Let the camera deal with that ISO. And notice the depth effect. Now I'm going to open it back up to 16. There we go. And it's a bit dark. Let's go to 10, F10, which happens to be what my Schmidt Castlegrain is and I'm going to pull the focus back in and that's as far in as I can do it and now I'm going to pull the zoom in it is or to zoom out rather so 
So all camera lenses work this way. You've got basically two major uh, things that affect what the camera lens will do. One is the focal length. The uh, shorter the focal length, the deeper you can see. Also, the smaller the aperture, the further the camera can see. Let me step down to wide open aperture and notice how the depth decreases. Now this is also true on the P900. Now the P900 has incredible zooming capability and uh, that's done by a combination of brilliant optics design on Nikon's department and the use of a very small sensor which basically is going to give you some differences versus a full frame sensor which is what I'm using right now. So, in short, and I'm not doing as good a job as Schnaz did, uh, in short, you're going to get a narrower and narrower field of view as you zoom out you know, going to longer and longer focal lengths. But you're also going to get a shorter and shorter field of view. Observe. So... This applies to Soundly's video in a very important, and also photography in a very important way. He's using a P900 with the small sensor. It's going to produce a much greater field of view, or sorry, depth of focus than this full frame camera will. as you can see. And of course you can see further out. And also the further out you go, regardless of the focal length, you should be paying attention now to the tick marks. Actually you should have been all along. The tick marks on these yardsticks. They appear to get closer and closer, according to perspective. And that's the way they work. That's not the tick marks, that is. That's the way lenses work. All lenses, including the human eye.